He's cutting a tree down without a shirt on. And it's pajamas. Hey guys, welcome to the Hollowby Homestead. <laughs> we changed uh, our opening uh, video for YouTube um, those pictures from the other videos were just uh, back in the spring before everything grew in so decided it was about time to change that opener um, and also because you can't use copyrighted music on YouTube I decided to write my own music uh, which you heard on the banjo for our opener so anyways just let me know what you think so today's pretty warm. Uh, I thought it'd be the perfect day actually to give you guys a quick garden update and a garden tour. Uh, there's kind of a lot happening because we've had some pretty hot weather. Everything's kind of uh, sped up and uh, we've got some pretty cool things happening in the garden right now. Uh, just to uh, warn you guys though, so, um, because it's been hot, I haven't been able to keep up on the weeding. Uh, I weeded the one side, but uh, the other side's pretty bad. Um, so overlook that please. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with uh, talking about my wonderful beans. Um, they did exactly what I wanted them to do. I'm trying to show you how tall they go. They actually go over the archway and there's a couple that are actually just growing straight up. Um, but you can see here, they're not quite ready yet like the bush beans, but they're almost ready. I have beans that are hanging off the trellis here, which means they'll be very easy to pick. Uh, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, it's really beautiful and it's really practical for growing food. I'll give you a close-up here. So speaking of the beans, uh, so far uh, we've gotten about 12 to 15 pounds of beans off of uh, these plants. Um, this row here I'd say is about 30 feet and it's kind of, the reason why there's a bare spot is because there's bush beans in the middle and then there's the climbing beans on each side. So uh, I would say that so far we've had a really good harvest, so I'm really uh, pleased with how it turned out. So my next row, these are marigolds here, um, I don't know if you can see that right there, uh, but these leaves here are nasturtiums and yesterday my first flower came out, it's not really pretty and see there's another one that's about to come out too, I think this is going to be really pretty at the end of uh, each row here, that's where most of them are. Now you see all this corn behind me here? Um, I've never had so much luck with corn in my life. Uh, I've tried growing corn for years and not had much success. Uh, last year uh, they actually grew tall and then uh, right before they were ready to be picked uh, the cobs uh, had some sort of rot and they just died. <laughs> so uh, fingers crossed, hopefully that doesn't happen this year. Um, but I'm very happy about this corn here. Uh, it's looking really good at the uh, stage of summer that we're at right now. Looks like my uh, Swiss chard is totally ready to be picked again. So you see that little red thing there? Uh, this is another colored nasturtium that's coming out. It uh, hasn't opened yet, but it will. Here's my small pumpkins. They're coming along good. 
No sign of pumpkins yet, but soon. My squash plants here, I had them laid out on the grass. Um, I actually kind of planned them in a bad spot. I'm hoping that they will grow long enough to reach that fence and be supported by that fence. But they're getting quite big. So I was just about to tell you guys that there's no sign of tomatoes. Uh, but actually there is. I'm going to get up close here and show you guys. Look at this. There's two little tomatoes that have started there. It's pretty exciting. I was starting to wonder if we we're ever going to get tomatoes. There's another couple of tomatoes. They're different kinds of tomatoes. That's why they're different colors. The one beside it has a couple there starting to grow. Look, there's a couple more on the next plant. There's some cherry tomatoes there. There's not really any sign of tomatoes yet. Well, there's signs, but there's not really anything producing yet on this row, but I am pretty excited about these two other rows that are actually producing tomatoes, so I think soon we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> so last but not least, I wanted to uh, show you guys uh, the coolest part. So these are my cucumbers, and I finally got them trained on the trellis, and they're flowering. And just this morning, I noticed that uh, we have a little cucumber starting, which I'll show you. So I saw one cucumber this morning. Um, there's definitely more than one. I'll show you guys here. There's one. There's two. There's three, there's a start of one, four, there's five, and there. I'm sure there's more cucumbers, but uh, that's how many I could see just on quick glance, so I'm really excited about that. I love cucumbers, and I love fresh cucumbers out of the garden. Some of those are going to be pickles, but I also love cucumber sandwiches, and um, yeah, so that's uh, the garden tour. I have a couple other things to show you, so stay tuned. Check out how big these marigolds are now. I really like how these uh, planters turned out. So this morning I was looking out on the balcony and discovered this lovely little treat on the edge of our yard, which I'm going to show you guys here. Behind me here is some sort of uh, wild growing Monarda. Um, maybe it was planted, I don't know, uh, but it's really pretty. I'm going to uh, give you a close up here. So Dave's been working really hard at starting to clear this field here. Um, we still have that car to get rid of. Mainly he was trying to clear around uh, these apple trees because they're getting kind of choked out. And hopefully in a couple of years this will actually be an animal pasture. Um, but we're trying to groom it back a little bit so it's not so wild. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video for today. It's a little uh, quick video, but uh, it's way too hot to be out here for a long time. So um, hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any gardening questions, uh, just comment. I'll try and help you out. Uh, if you like what you're watching, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe and comment and like on YouTube.
We'll see you again next time. Bye guys.